hydraulics is a science which is relating to behavior of liquids and under various conditions. In an aircraft, the hydraulic system mainly provides a means of operating large remote components which if would not be possible to operate satisfactorily by other means. Hydraulic system mainly provide the power for the operation of components such as landing gears, flaps, flight controls and other systems that really require high power, accurate control and rapid response rates. In this series of lessons, we will begin by looking at hydraulic theory including many physical laws that really apply to hydraulics. And we will also discuss the properties required for hydraulic fluids and the components that make up basic hydraulic system. And we will also see how the system can be improved by adding further components and the examination will extend up to the controlling and indicating systems which really required to allow the flight crew to operate and monitor these systems. Bertillon Pascal was a 16th century French mathematician, physicist and a philosopher who discovered that if a force is applied to a liquid in a confined space points, this fact is also known as a Pascal's law and the resulting pressure will be felt equally at all the points. However, before we get included and involved in Pascal's law, we must first understand to review some of the units and formulas relating to the measure of pressure, area, force and work. 1 kilogram is equal to 9.8 newtons, we all know, and 1 pound is equal to 4.45 newtons. The force acting on a liquid is a total load which is available and can also be measured in newtons, pounds or kilograms. The area can be measured in square inches or square meters and therefore 1550 square inches in a square meter is found out. The pressure is a force per unit area and can also be measured in pounds per square inch or Newton per meter square. For example, if you take an area 2 meter by 2 meter which is 4 square meters and if we apply a force of 16 Newtons then the force felt is approximately equal to 4 Newton per meter square. And however, most of the aircraft gauges are mainly calibrated in pounds per square inch or PSI. It is probably a worth noting that the pressure of 1 Newton per meter square is very very small and it is equivalent to 0.00145 pounds per inch square. So, the more commonly used metric systems are used such as megapascals and can be abbreviated as MPA. Let us now go back to the Pascal's law and what it states that if a force is applied to a liquid in a confined space then the resulting pressure will be felt equally at all the points and if you can see in the diagram if the force is applied is 10 Newton and an area of piston is taken to be 0.5 square meters then the total pressure will be 10 divided by 0.5 which is 20 Newton per meter square or 20 pascals. So what will be a pressure if now if I increase the force to 20 Newtons that would be 20 divided by 0.5 meter square which is 40 Newton per meter square and if we go back to the Pascal's law but this time when I increase the area of the piston as a 1 meter square and I will keep the force as 10 Newton then the resultant value will be 10 divided by 1 which is 
टेन न्यूटन पर मीटर स्क्वायर पर हैब्स द विजुअलाइजेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पासकल स्लो कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इट इज वेरी सिंपल एंड नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अ सिंपल हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम सच एज शोन इन द फिगर व्हिच कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू डिफरेंट साइज्ड सिलेंडर्स कनेक्टेड बाय अ पाइप एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू द पासकल स्लॉ द प्रेशर एक्सल्टेड ऑन अ स्मॉलर पिस्टन इज मेनली ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू द फ्लूड to act on the internal surfaces of the larger portion so as you can see in the figure what i want to tell you is the two differently sized cylinders are taken and now we are going to apply and test how the pascal's law of pressure works here and as you can see the smaller piston is transmitting the force through a fluid to act as an internal surface for a larger piston and the pressure is properly of the system not on the pistons and therefore it is experienced that the equally by the piston each piston has a surface area when the force exerted by the piston will be different when the pressures are even same this principle was introduced by joseph brang when he patented brahma press in 1795 he observed two different facts about his press initially the smaller area under the load then for a given force the greater will be the pressure generated and secondly he observed larger the area under the pressure greater will be the load available and in our example we take it as a piston which is having an area of 0.02 meter square and we apply the force of 1000 newton to it and we can now know that the pressure will be 1000 divided by 0.002 and the pressure will approximately be 500 kilo pascal and now according to the pascal's law the pressure will be felt throughout the whole system and here the piston b has an area of 0.04 meter square and therefore pressure we know that is equal to pressure into area which constitute a force and now it is equal to 2000 newton and if we now move the piston down by a small variation of 0.6 meter then what will be the work done and we know that the work done is the force multiplied by the distance and the force is 1000 multiplied by 0.6 which gives 600 joules and ignoring the frictional losses the same work will be done on piston b also and 600 divided by the 2000 force is now equal to 0.3 meters which is a difference of distance which is observed in piston b and we can now say that for a given piston system the pressure force is directly proportional to the piston area and distance moved by the piston will be inversely proportional to the pressure area let us take an example of britannia bridge although it is very simple system and we can even justify that how it is very powerful and in 1846 robert stewerson used a single hydraulic press to host a very large ton of tubes into a place for this britannia bridge across the strait land between island of anglesey and mainland of wales as a smaller example we can call it as a slight aircraft braking system and here is the piston a in the press which is replaced by a master cylinder the force being produced by the pilot's foot on the pedal of the piston b is now the slave cylinder and you can also notice that the welded fluid reservoir this is to keep the purely form of system which is stopped up in case of any leakage occurs 
For more complicated aircraft system, a pump is required to deliver a flow of liquid into the system and it is worth noting. And supply takes place by pump itself. And if a pump is with an open-ended tube, then the fluid will have no pressure. And in order to build this pressure for a fluid flow, it must be restricted. And in an aircraft, the restriction is provided by moving pistons, which moves and travels backwards and forwards. The cylinders are also known as a hydraulic jacks. The power required for operating different services can depend upon the size and loading condition. And this is catered for usage of actuators with pistons of different areas and different workers required by load to keep the pump output pressure constant. And in this lesson, we have an understanding of the familiar of units and measurements and hydraulic system and I believe in order you will be more perfect to understand the Pascal's law and their applications.